Y'all, whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not play with matches. Well, good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead. This is Matthew. Today, I'm getting back on the mill. I got to get some 4x4s cut and some 2x6s to finish up that chicken coop that y'all been watching me build for about a month now. It's time to get that thing done and get those birds moved. Guys, we're going to have a little bit of fun this morning slinging some sawdust. Thanks for joining us on the Piney Woods Homestead. Let's get at it. Now y'all, before I get on the mill, we're gonna step down here and check on the pigs. My dad came over this morning to help me out. I had to cut one of those boars because that's the one we're raising out for meat here on the homestead. And y'all, raising hogs ain't for the faint of heart. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. If you've done any amount of raising hogs and having to cut a boar piglet, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's traumatic. We do it as quick as we can, as safe as we can, and as humane as we can. And I'm going to tell you, my daddy, he is the pig cutter. I'm going to tell you, back in the 70s, where we're from, a little place called Daubersville, my daddy was the man to call if you needed a pig cut. Because he raised them, a large operation, and he'd go around cutting everybody else's pigs. All it takes is a single edge razor blade and a little bit of antiseptic. But he came in here and we got it done this morning. But y'all, I don't tell you, my stress level was through the roof. But we got it done. But we're going to check on them real quick, real quiet like. Because Rosie, I don't tell you, she was not a happy mama this morning. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, Rosie. Y'all, let me tell you, this morning, that diesel motor Rosie's pumping out was hitting on all eight cylinders. That old hair was standing up on the back of her neck and she was not happy at all. But y'all, that little boar piglet that we cut, he is doing just fine. My daddy is a professional when it comes to that. Man should have been a veterinarian instead of a farmer or both. I think he kind of was both. But y'all, he did a great job. And these pigs are happy and they're just fine. The traumatic part of it is over with. But thank you, Lord, for good, healthy pigs and a daddy that knows what he's doing. All right, the old tractor should be warmed up enough now. Go down here and get it out. And we're going to get a nice big old fat pine log up on the mill. Get this thing milled up and get these posts ready to set. Not sure if I'll get to that today or not. I seem to always pick more to do in a day than I have time for. And I'm still sporting this old armband on my left arm. That old tendonitis is kicking my tail. But I'm going to try to kick its tail and get a little bit of work done. Let's get on the tractor. Now what do you say we fire up this old Easy Boardwalk Junior to make a little sawdust?
takes a little more time doing it the way I'm doing it right here, shaving off smaller sections or thinner sections at the top of this log before I turn it. But I ain't trying to hurt myself any worse than I already am, so I'm getting lighter pieces to take off. But as soon as I get this thing into a cant, this thing will go pretty quick. Now try doing that without a cant hook. You about can't do it. Y'all, maybe if I grow my hair out, I get a little stronger like old Samson. But until then, I'll have to work with what I got. All right, we're fixing to make this little 14 horse Subaru scream a little bit because we're going to cut some four by fours. y'all I got me four four by fours cut out of that one eight foot log I could have got six but I'm gonna give me some two by fours as well and I got a whole bunch of other three-quarter stuff that I'm gonna trim back down I can use on something else along with about a one and a half inch board I'll find something to do with it but I'm gonna finish this up and we'll move on to the next step all Lisa's doing is scraping off all this sawdust off of here so when I go to put a little fuel on here to flash it off I'm not burning sawdust I'm burning wood and all I'm gonna do is give it a little char y'all saw me do it when I set the post up here for the lean-to shed same thing we're just getting a little bit of char on here to prevent rot and decay or at least slow it down yeah. that one's good all right let's not play with matches Y'all, whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not play with matches. Fire in the hole. See, it's just putting a light char on here. And we'll continue to flip it around. We'll do this several times. And then we'll put a little bit of that homemade stain on here and flash it again.
All right, y'all, thanks for spending a little bit of time with us today at the Piney Woods Homestead. As we got back on the mill, got these four by fours cut and ready to go in the ground for this new chicken coop. Well, I was gonna show you a little bit of the process and equipment that we have for chickens today, but I'll show you some of that on the next video as we're actually setting up to do that. But guys, we hope you've enjoyed spending just a little bit of time with us today at the Piney Woods Homestead. Hit that old like button, subscribe to the channel if you hadn't, and if you have, guys, we appreciate you. Y'all have a great day, a great week. We'll see you on the next video.